Well, this is a working Atari 1200XL that I just bought on eBay. And I'm building an S Drive Max for it. I'm waiting for parts to make the cable. And I used to own one of these in the 80s. And I, I think I gave it away. And I wanted another one. So I went on eBay and I found a listing where they said... They don't know if it works. Uh, if you plug it in, the power light comes on, but they don't know if it works. And so they sold it as not working for parts. So I bought it and I plugged it into an old TV set because I didn't have the monitor cable yet. And it powered up and it appeared to work. And then I, so I was happy. But then I tried the keyboard and well, of course the keyboard didn't work. So for these units that are this old, there's a, a little piece of interface tape in the membrane keyboard. Well, it's not a membrane keyboard, but it's a, it's a keyboard with a mylar membrane on it. And there is a little piece of interface tape that wears out and you need to really just remove it and possibly paint some silver paint. So I took it apart and I took the keyboard apart and I found it was very easy to take off the mylar and that was odd. But then I realized why I was not the first one here. See, so someone had already taken the mylar off once and they cleaned up the mylar side, but they left the tape sticking to the circuit board side and they put conductive paint on top of the carbon fing fingers on the tape, which is not what is suggested. It, what's suggested is you take the tape off the circuit board, clean it up, and put the paint on the mylar carbon traces. So fortunately that wasn't didn't hurt. So I just peeled off the tape, cleaned it up, and I saw a video, which I'll put in the description, of a guy that was doing this repair. And he said, hey, before you put the paint on, why don't you just try without it? And it might work. So I tried, and it worked. As you can see, I was able to type. And it passes all, all the self-tests. So it's going to be very nice to have an Atari 1200XL again. And I like, well... I don't want to play around with floppies anyways. I like that we've now got Arduinos and can make these S drive maxes, which look like it will be a perfect solution. You don't have to have a lot of floppies or tapes. You just have to have a one SD card and that device and you're in business. So thank you for watching.